Awesome. We've covered quite a lot of ground in this conversation already. And I know people will be really enjoying sort of where we've gone with this because we haven't really had someone on the podcast yet that focuses on early childhood or early years as I've been referring to. We all have these different ways of um, expressing that. But I wanted to touch on a couple more things and one of them being the international school context and how that might have influenced any changes to your pedagogy at all. Could you take us through any kind of exploration of that idea? I've learned just from teaching internationally. I think before, you know, I come from uh, Texas with with a lot of my, you know, I've always just taught in Texas. And, you know, when you get in your bubble, you think, well, this is this is how you do things. This is what everyone else is doing. And you have a lot of support. But I think what I've learned is when you move to a different place, that there is no one way to do things. I had never, I had never like taught with so many people from New Zealand. I had never taught from so many people from Canada or from India or, you know, all these different teachers coming together with their own sort of, this is what I did, at, you know, in my place. And now we're all coming together and so it's something I really had to learn about myself and maybe unlearn to mm. use that that term um, because I kind of came in, you know, we talk about like, well, I'm from this place. I, I, I call it the waving the flag, you know, like this is how we did it at my old school. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, I learned like, don't say that, you know. Um, so I think in the beginning that I struggled with that. I'm just going to be really honest. I, I I like to be transparent with my mistakes. And so what I've learned is that there's no one way. 